Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me for practice today. For those of you who are new here, I am Emily, I am your yoga teacher and before we get started I want to remind you to, if you like this class, hit like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified whenever I post something new here. And if you like my classes, if you like this one and maybe you've taken some other classes with me, I want to encourage you to download the Yoga Lioness app. It's for iPhone and for Android. And in there, there are some free exclusive classes. And there is also my monthly membership. In that membership, you get a 20 to 30 minute yoga class every day. Once a week, you get a completely new class. And there are some meditations, some movement breakdowns, yoga nidras in there. And also you get access to the private Facebook group, which is a place where the Participants cheer each other forward, they inspire each other, all helping each other out to create a consistent yoga practice and a healthy way of life. So if you like the sound of that, please hit the link here below and check it out. And now let's get started with today's class. Let's have a look at the chin stand. If you have any issues in your neck and your back, I would advise you not to go for this pose. There are a lot of fun other poses out there that you can go. It requires a lot of mobility and flexibility in your thoracic and cervical spine. And it also applies pressure to your cervical spine. So be very mindful. But we're gonna start off with a little variation using two blocks. So place the blocks around shoulder width apart. You're gonna place your hands just behind the blocks and you're gonna rest your shoulders onto the blocks like so. And you're gonna come up into a little downward facing dog variation with your feet and you're gonna to start to walk your feet in and then come up with one leg and then the other one. Maybe you're gonna bring one knee into the chest if the leg doesn't float up. And you can come back down and come out of it. So if that feels felt completely okay, maybe you can go for the full chin stand variation. So you're gonna come forward, you're gonna start in high plank, shift the weight forward, lower your chin down to the mat. So my shoulders are uh, over my wrists and then walk the feet in, bring one leg up, Maybe kick up. And maybe you can bend the knees for a little extra back bend. And then come back down. And lower. This is a very advanced pose. And, but it's kind of fun because it can be integrated in, for example, a vinyasa. For example, you can come when you go from your high plank weight forward, you can come down, climb your feet in, one leg up, kick up, chin stand, and then lower back, upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. So it offers a bit of possibilities to be included in a flow in a fun way. Take care, be mindful of your chin, your neck, and your back, and have fun with your chin stand. <laughs> 